History is full of some great badasses, like these people. Number 11. Frederick Douglass In February of 1818, Frederick Douglass was born as an enslaved person. When he died 77 years later, he was a free man. Douglass spent the first 20 years of his life as a slave in Maryland, where as a child, he taught himself to read and write. As a teenager, he was sent to work for an especially sadistic slave owner named Edward Covey, who was known for beating his slaves. But Douglass fought back and actually won a physical fight against Covey and his cousin. The legendary battle lasted nearly two hours, with Douglass emerging the victor. No one ever tried to beat him again. Armed with the ability to read and write and the desire for freedom, Douglass tried escaping in 1836 and 1837, but failed both times. But the third time was the charm. In 1838, Douglas, with the help of a free black woman named Anna Murray, disguised himself as a sailor and boarded a train to Delaware. He then trekked to Philadelphia and ultimately to New York City in freedom. As a free man, Douglas was a staunch abolitionist, working to end slavery. During the Civil War, he helped the Union cause, working as a recruiter while also advocating for suffrage for free black men. In his lifetime, Douglas saw the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments passed, which ended slavery, provided citizenship, and equal protection under the law for African Americans, and gave them the right to vote. In his later years, he worked to combat white supremacy, in particular the KKK, while campaigning for women's suffrage too. Today he is regarded as one of the most prominent civil rights leaders and an all-around American hero. Number 10. Tank Man We may never know his real name, but the image of one guy standing in front of a bunch of tanks is pretty badass. Since the occurrence in 1989, the image has become iconic worldwide. The incident happened on June 5, 1989, as the Chinese military was cracking down on the Tiananmen Square protest, which resulted in a massacre by the military after the government imposed martial law. As four tanks were driving towards the north end of the square, this dude just walked up to the tanks and stops. When the tanks tried to move around him, he would move as well, blocking their path. This went on for a while until the tanks finally shut their engines off. The mysterious man then hopped up onto the tank and had some kind of a conversation with the tank commander. He then climbed back down, the engine started back up, and they once again found themselves at an impasse. Finally, two men wearing blue, possibly members of the Public Security Bureau or concerned bystanders, pulled the man out of the way and the tanks moved on along. We're not sure who this guy was, but the image left an impression on people all over the world. Time Magazine labeled him as the Unknown Rebel and cited him as one of the most 100 influential people of the 20th century. And we still don't know his name. Number 9. Andrew Jackson The seventh president of the United States was a badass. He was also savagely racist, and for that he kind of sucks. But hey, let's give credit where credit is due. For one, the man lived a lot of his life with a bullet lodged in his chest. You heard that correctly. He was shot in the chest, survived, and went about his way with a freaking bullet inside of him. He was shot because he challenged a fellow named Charles Dickinson to a duel after he insulted Jackson's wife. After taking the bullet in the chest, the future president stayed on his feet and then shot Dickinson dead. But his badassness went all the way back to childhood. As a kid who grew up during the American Revolution, Jackson helped local militia by acting as a courier. At age 13, he and his brother were captured by the British and nearly starved to death in captivity. When a grown-ass British officer told the boy to clean his boots, a defiant Jackson told him no, so the officer slashed him with a sword. While Andrew survived, his brother Robert did not. So Jackson pretty much hated the British ever since then. He went on to have a brilliant military career, winning decisive battles during the War of 1812 before becoming president in 1829. While in office, he survived a bizarre assassination attempt. A dude named Richard Lawrence attacked him on the lawn of the Capitol building firing two guns at close range. However, both guns misfired, and Jackson charged his attacker, personally beating the crap out of him with his walking stick until police came. The Secret Service didn't exist back then, and it wouldn't appear that Jackson needed them. Number 8. Anne Bonny To be a successful pirate, it took grit, courage, brains, a ruthless spirit, and many other qualities that make up a badass. But it was mostly a guy thing mostly being the operative word. 
women such as Anne Bonny decided that a pirate's life was the life for them, and broke a glass ceiling of sorts when they took to the high seas. While we don't know a lot about Bonny, we know that she had a fiery temper and a knack for revenge. For example, as legend has it, when she was disowned by her father for marrying a pirate, she burned down his plantation and skipped town to the Bahamas. She would later divorce her husband and marry another pirate, Calico Jack. Along with another female pirate named Mary Reed, the couple stole a ship from the Nassau Harbor, recruited a band of pirates, and quickly garnered a reputation as some of the fiercest buccaneers in the world. Known to be vigilant during battle, Bonnie was respected and were feared by nearly everyone who became familiar with her. But her brutal run came to an end in October of 1720, when she and the rest of the crew were captured by soldiers commissioned by the governor of Jamaica. While Calico Jack and the majority of his crew surrendered easily during the fight, Bonnie and Reed managed to hold off the soldiers for a while before being captured. While awaiting execution in prison, Bonnie claimed to be pregnant and received a stay of execution. Oddly enough, there is no record of her being released or executed. No one knows for sure what happened to her, which kind of adds to her badass image. Number 7. Gregory Rasputin Everything about the life and death of Gregory Rasputin is just flat out strange. As a leader of the mysticism movement in Russia during the early 20th century, he became close friends with the family of Tsar Nicholas. In fact, a bit too close. Known by his peers as a pretty weird guy, Russian elites and political leaders were really concerned about the amount of influence he seemed to have over the Tsar's family, especially since Nicholas was in charge of the army during World War I. To say the very least, they didn't trust Rasputin. So in 1916, they hatched a plan to kill him. Mind you, the man already survived an assassination attempt, where he was stabbed in the stomach. He survived by running down the street to a hospital while he bled profusely from his stomach. This time, they planned to poison him by lacing his food with copious amounts of potassium cyanide at a dinner party. After they gave him the poison, they got him drunk but it became clear that the poison was not working. So one assassin shot him in the chest with a revolver. Rasputin fell to the ground, but soon hopped up to make a break for the door. He climbed up some stairs and tried to escape outside, but he was shot three more times. Still, he powered on, making it outside before finally collapsing. When his assassins approached him, he suddenly began to move again. Finally, he was shot in the head and died. At the very least, Gregory Rasputin was one tenacious fellow. Number 6. Tesla Known by his peers as something of a mad scientist, Nikola Tesla is regarded today as one of the brightest minds of the past few hundred years. As an engineer, physicist, and futurist, Tesla was instrumental in designing the alternating current electric supply system. Soon after immigrating to the US from Serbia with just the clothes on his back, he worked with Thomas Edison for a bit before setting out on his own where he sold many influential patents. The Tesla coil, for example, is still being used in radio technology. He also did experiments that led to the development of X-ray technology, radar technology, remote control, and the rotating magnetic field. With a photographic memory, he was believed to have memorized most of the books he ever read. He was also a master of chess and billiards, and claimed to have only slept for about two hours a day. Today, his legacy lives on, not just through groundbreaking science, but through Tesla Motors, which was named after him, as well as the Nikola Tesla Museum, plus a number of holidays that are held in his honor. Number 5. Muhammad Ali There weren't many athletes who were more popular than Muhammad Ali during the 20th century. As a heavyweight champion, Olympian, iconoclast, civil rights leader, and Grammy-nominated musician, just to name a few of his accolades, Muhammad Ali inspired millions of people around the world. Aside from being one of the best fighters in the history of boxing, Muhammad Ali was a man of principle, refusing to fight during the Vietnam War as a conscientious objector due to his Muslim faith. He was jailed during the prime of his career, a ruling that the Supreme Court would later overrule. Though he was controversial at times, he would eventually become an American icon, a champion in and out of the rink. Winning 56 career matches, he recorded 37 knockouts while maintaining his status as a social activist. He beat every single heavyweight champion of his era. He was dubbed the Sportsman of the Century by Sports Illustrated and received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005. 
The impact of his death on June 3rd, 2016 is still being felt by millions of people all over the globe. Number 4. Hugh Glass You don't survive a bear attack in harsh winters on the western frontier unless you're a certified badass. The life of Hugh Glass was depicted in the 2015 feature film The Revenant. Leonardo DiCaprio portrayed the legendary fur trapper and frontiersman and won his first ever Academy Award for the role. The bear attacks we just told you about occurred in 1823 while Glass was on an expedition. He accidentally stumbled on a mama grizzly with her two cubs. Feeling threatened, she attacked, nearly mauling Glass to death. Along with fellow trappers, he was able to fight off the bear, but they determined that he was too injured to survive. So the leader of the expedition, William Henry Ashley, asked two dudes named Jim Bridger and John S. Fitzgerald to stay behind and bury Glass once he died. Instead, they took all of his supplies and weapons and left them out in the open. But Glass managed to crawl 200 miles to the next town. As the story goes, he fastened a makeshift raft and floated down the Cheyenne River. To prevent gangrene from setting in, he allowed maggots to eat dead flesh off of his body. Just to give you an idea of how much the situation sucked. After he recovered from this ordeal, he tracked down the men who abandoned him, but ultimately spared their lives after retrieving his possessions. So a badass and a gentleman. Number 3. Teddy Roosevelt As the second US president to make this list, Teddy Roosevelt sure has a lot of street cred when it comes to being a badass. For one, his face is on Mount Rushmore. He survived an assassination attempt. He explored the world. He was a master of martial arts and the leader of the progressive era. He authored books, studied nature, sparred with professional wrestlers, and led his troops to victory. His life was like one of those most interesting man in the world commercials, only better. To top it all off, he was portrayed by Robin Williams. Now how cool is that? There's a lot of little anecdotes that could illustrate just how much of a badass he really was, but getting shot by a crazed assassin and then immediately given a speech is as badass as they come. It was October 14th, 1912 and Roosevelt, having already served as a 26th president, was running again, but this time for the Progressive Party. Before delivering a speech, an out-of-work saloon keeper shot him in the chest. The bullet was somewhat stopped by a copy of the speech he had in his breast pocket. Undeterred, Roosevelt gave the speech anyway, stating, it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Number 2. Winston Churchill as World War II escalated, someone needed to stand up to Hitler, and that man was Winston Churchill. Granted, the political environment was actually pretty complicated at the time, but without Churchill's leadership, the UK might not have survived the war. While he was many things during his life, a writer, a soldier, a historian, and an artist just to name a few, it was his time as Prime Minister of the UK that history will remember best. After the UK declared war on Germany, Churchill famously stated, we shall never surrender before the Battle of Britain. In fact, it was his speeches that often encouraged the people of Great Britain when they stood alone against Nazi aggression. A symbol of courage, tenacity, and strong leadership, Winston Churchill is still regarded as one of the UK's best prime ministers of all time. Number 1. Ben Franklin A statesman, an author, a thinker, a doer. A politician, a diplomat, a scientist, an inventor, a lover, a philosopher, a patriot, a founding father, and all-around badass. Ben Franklin seriously embodied what it meant to be a renaissance man. Oh yeah, he also discovered electricity. As a leader of the Enlightenment era, he staunchly opposed both political and religious authoritarianism, and is often referred to as the first American due to his champion of democratic values. By signing the Declaration of Independence, he essentially gave the middle finger to Great Britain proven he was willing to die for the cause. His contributions to the scientific community are still significant today. In addition to inventing the lightning rod, he also invented bifocals and the flexible urinary catheter. We could go on and on about everything Franklin contributed to society. As a man way ahead of his time, he paved the way for countless scientific and philosophical advances. Suffice to say, people are still reaping the benefits of his brilliant mind to this very day. Here's what's next. 